Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. We're back for part three of this great big uh, bowl of jewelry. It's a lovely bowl. You can start to see now that um, now we've got it partially empty. It's got this raised uh, crisscross design on it, and there's no chips or anything in it. So uh, not that I really need another salad bowl or anything, but uh, maybe I'll find someone who does. And listen to the clink, clink, clank of all the jewelry. <gasps> oh, something just almost went on the floor. Let's see if I can... There. Yeah, it's a nice handful or more. And, uh, oh, some of these... Oh, that's the problem is sometimes one thing is caught on another. And there we go. I'm going to put those back in and we'll see what uh, we can see here. Here's a really long... Here's a big pearl on a long string and it's all tangled up with something that's got a cross and what looks like a giant keychain and alrighty so I'll put that aside and see if I can show you things that are not all tangled up so this is nice this is either glass yeah this is glass this is that's plastic metal metal glass glass this is like gold stone but just it's just glass there's another glass bead and then they sort of the design repeats from there so this is lobster claw class nice extender and maybe a little is that a manufacturer's tag on the end nothing on that side is this one of those dreaded ones with the Oh no, it's not. It's uh it's this little flower design. I think I've seen this before. I'll have to research and let you know the company. Then I'll know too. So this is in great shape. It's a good length. If we uh 18 and 18, so about 36 if we fold it in half so you can see all the uh the glass stones. That's very nice, very wearable. Surprise that ended up in the jewelry jar. So, nice wearable necklace. Here is a metal bangle. But it's interesting. It looks like um, I thought it was going to have rhinestones in it, but it's some kind of Just chain that's been folded and welded together or molded together. Interesting. Never seen anything like this before. Okay, very nice. Kind of masculine looking, but I think a lot of people would enjoy wearing that. This is interesting. It's cold. Hard to tell. Um, it's a memory wire bracelet, and it's got one, two, three, four loops. It's nicely put together. We've got these clear beads, melt, uh, multifaceted beads, and then these, um, like a really deep Merlot wine color, and nicely finished on the ends. That's very nice. Let's see what it's like to put on. I don't like sort of winding these around, but let's see. One. Okay. That's. Huh. I guess now that I've got it on, I would like to be able to have the the clear and the dark parts interchange some more. I think it would be more interesting. So I would re I would reconfigure this. I mean the idea was interesting, but all the darks ended up together and all the lights and it would be because they they alternated them, but instead you needed to not do that. <laughs> So you'd have to figure it out carefully. So like I'd want this 
and then maybe dark, dark, light, light, dark. And that would give you the, a variety. I kind of think I might do that. I might take that apart. Okay, there's my earring to go to the side. Um, another earring to go to the side. Let's see how many of these I can detangle. Oh, here's a pair of earrings. These are clip-on, just all plastic. So very lightweight. As I said, all plastic. Here's a shell necklace. For those of you who like shells, there's a nice variety of colors of shells in there. From dark to pure white. Look at the stripes on this one. That is pretty neato. And uh, yeah, that why I'm sure that uh, anybody who's interested in shells, like any kid who's interested in shells would like that. Here is a rhinestone bracelet missing many rhinestones. Still got its stretch, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe they're all missing from the one section. If that's all, it's missing nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Okay, that's that's repairable. Never thought to. I'm going to just try to turn it inside out, see if there's a, a maker's name. No? Okay, well, we'll put that in the potential repair pile. Here is a simple necklace. Uh, lobster claw. Two lobster claws. Short. Probably 18 inches you could easily connect these to and uh, other necklaces make a, a layered necklace with those needs cleaning it's kind of grimy here's this is one of those italian charm bracelets that you add the charms onto yep Zopini, yeah, okay. Stainless steel. You know, these are quite nice. I, I often see them with like one or two charms, but they're actually quite nice just on their own. If you wanted a stretchy. And it's not gonna lose its stretch. That's the thing about these. They're nicely made. The, the stretch is in the manufacturer okay here's another well this is not a okay this is the source part of the source of the tangle let me if I pull things out individually I might get uh, it detangled I just have this one little thing so here is a big um, a uh, little misshapen, but maybe that's, that's big. That's way too big for me. I wonder if it's meant to go up further on the arm or something. It's got quite a, a point there, so I don't know who it was made for. It looks like it was made with those flat, you know, those what do they call those? Those flat glass buttons or whatever that you put it in it put in a jar. But I mean, it's nicely made. It's a nice design. It's too bad you can see through those, but I guess the part in the back with the blue makes it look kind of interesting. Hmm. I don't know what to do with that. It's too big for me. Keep pulling this thing out because oh hey the whole thing came out so this is interesting this is what does that tag say tresk 
Tresca. I've heard this before. Tresca. It's kind of a copper color, copper tone. Um, interesting chain. Uh, there's like a more coppery extender. And then this interesting chain, which is closed, little closed filigree beads chained together. I like that. Very nice. And then it comes down to this. Oh, okay. So this is the pendant. Comes down to one filigree bead, a little, that feels like plastic, coppery thing. That feels like plastic. Um... I'm not sure if these are supposed to, okay, let me just try to wiggle out the tangle here, because they, all right. Is it actually physically stuck in there? What's going on? Oh. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that. I don't think it is. I think. Just bear with me while I take this. Well, you know what? It's a whole bunch of stuff hanging from like it's supposed to have a circle and all this stuff and then the chain's supposed to come up top but something's got a tangle so I'll have to sort that out and I won't I'll do it off camera and then come back with it this is different it's kind of a it's gonna say coppery gold but I'm not sure it looks like <laughs> hit the chain broke because there's two lengths here, but the rest are over there. So this is what's interesting. Look at these. They're little cages. And in the cages are, well, they're not really rivalies, but they're, they're rhinestone. Yeah, they're rhinestones, but without any, any, um, without any foil so they're just clear rhinestones I don't know if they're plastic I can't really get my finger in there to feel if they're plastic they're, or glass they're quite it's it's not too heavy I'm gonna fix the chain and uh, give out a good wash my hands are starting to get sticky from handling this stuff um, that's kind of different yeah nice little simple necklace not real glitzy but you know got a little bit of sparkle to it and that's the one that's all tangled now what is this oh let's see that's a there's a pendant with oh looks like one tiny missy rhinestone i don't know where that came from this looks like it's supposed to go in a buttonhole this is a pretty little delicate chain. Okay, there's an earring. Let's see if this is broken or not. I don't think so. So there's, t here's the chain. It's got a little heart with all those little dots on it. So I'll have to look up that, see if I can identify the maker. These are, they don't feel cool. So those are plastic, but they're nice little, there's some weight to it. So maybe, maybe they just are too warm. I'll have to check better later. I love these kind of things with all the little rhinestones in them, as long as the rhinestones are all there. So... Um, there's the end. There's no extender. Yay. Doesn't need an extender. It would put it out, out of sync in terms of the, the pattern anyway. So there's probably 36. 
9 and a times 4. And a very pretty little necklace. I like that. As I said, I wish I could wear them all. I'll show the time. What is this? This is... Oh, this is a lovely, mirac not a miraculous, well, I guess it is a miraculous medal because it's got Mary with the infant Jesus and the miraculous symbol on the back. But on the front, it has, there's Mary. There's this, uh, probably the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um... And I'm not sure of the other two. I'd have to do some research. And it's on a nice little chain. It's not marked that silver or anything. I think it's just aluminum or some nice metal. But it's in for a religious uh, metal. It's in very good condition. So I can go with all the rosaries. And then there's this. So there's one end. Goes, 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 goes. And there's the other end. Nothing on there. I wonder if uh, that pendant was on it originally. Could have been. I like it better off. That's, that's that I can wash and save for kids' jewelry. This looks like shoelace. Or actually, it might be suede or faux suede. It's the ends. Have the nice little metal, silver tone metal on them. And then it's all tangled and knotted. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a necklace that you can wind around multiple times. Um, I don't like the feel of it. <laughs> Sorry to say it. I mean, it's soft on your skin, but I don't think... It has the right feel for a necklace, the way it is. So if you have any other ideas about what it is, maybe it's a belt. It's certainly long enough. But I'm not going to bother detangling the whole thing. Alrighty. Well, a few more pieces. Let's see what we can pull out. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, it's blingy after my heart. So there's a rhinestone missing right there. And I'm trying to see if there's any more. This is an inexpensive piece. So it's got a slightly older type of mount for the for the pin. I don't uh, it's not great manufacture because you can see all these little spots where the it was stuck in the mold and those weren't removed before it was plated. So, but interesting. Repair, I'll probably repair it and pass it on. Well, there's another rhinestone missing there as well. One, well, maybe not. There's one, one. I'll have to, I, I can't, let me, let me see if I can poke in there and see if there was supposed to be a rhinestone in there. No, there isn't an amount for a rhinestone. This one definitely has a hole for a rhinestone. Okay, so there was no one missing there. Let's look over here. Oh, there's one missing down in there. It's an odd spot for a rhinestone. I wonder if somebody copied this from another oh, um, vintage piece, and that's why it's so imprecise. Who knows? Who knows? Arini, well, there is a rhinestone there. It's just not very good, sh good one. Well, um, I think that's where I'm going to end. Um, thanks from Pat Hood at Passions and Pastimes. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll be back, uh, I think, with the next video with that piece that was all tangled that I couldn't get apart. And um, we'll see what it really looks like. Bye. Hope you have a great day.